Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I actually wasn't sure what I was gonna talk about today, so we're just gonna kind of riff. You guys can ask me questions if you want. Um, what has been coming through me the most lately and what a lot of people have been asking me about is how to magnetize your goals or actually create your business from a place of being at a an aligned magnet for what it is that you want. Hi Megan, hi Jennifer. If you guys are just jumping on the line, say hi, how are you? Hi girl, hi Bridget. So I was gonna call this why things aren't working, but then I thought, well things could be really working for you because we always have things that are working, and we always have things that are not. So the, <laughs> everything comes down to a frequency, everything comes down to an energy. You guys hear me say this all the time, uh, business, everything. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what we teach in our Soulful Money Masterclass. Hi, Asia. Hey, girl. I hope you're feeling better. Um, this topic came up the other day, and Ryan and I run a 12-month program called the Soulful Money Masterclass. This is a, a class of entrepreneurs that bring their spirituality and their passions in, and they take it out into the world doing what they love. You know, It's incredible. It's, I, I love this community so much, and if you're in that community, I love you guys. So... We were talking the other day about how your business actually is its own entity. And that sounds like such a trip. You know, my goddess bosses and I, we talk about this all the time, is how you have to become an energetic match for what you want. Meaning you have to magnetize like your desires within you first for it to come back to you. But you also want to become the energetic match with what your highest calling is so you can hear the answers that you need. So there's this whole dance that happens in business, but if we peel it all back, just like I talk all the time about money, money is its own thing. It has a purpose. If you don't know what its purpose is, it won't come in. If you don't know what its purpose is, it will stay stuck. You might feel like you can't up your money. Um, you have a hard time giving it to, to buy yourself things or giving it away because you don't know what the bigger purpose is of it. You don't know what it actually wants and needs yet until you ask it. And this might sound so trippy for people. Um, I, get, I get people reaching out to me all the time saying, I just, I think it's really cool that you're openly talking about this woo-woo stuff. And actually our whole Goddess Boss team, this is what, what most of our calls are like, right ladies, for, you, for those of you watching. We talk so much about the behind the scenes things. I am not a leader that is going to push you if you don't want to. I will stand with you if you say I'm ready to you know, live my dreams, my purpose, and use this, this vehicle that we do with essential oils to get there. But I'm not the one that's going to say, you have to do this. And if you don't hit this goal by a certain time, because I get that we're all on a different journey and things are changing now, right? So mean your, your business is its own entity, meaning this, instead of asking every day what you can do for me, you know, how can I get to $50,000 a month? Uh, what can you what can you give me today? Who can you give me today? Instead, when you wake up in the morning and you sit down with your journal, ask your business, ask your passion, ask your uh, your relationships because everything holds its own energy. What can I do for you today? What can I do for you today? And I did this this morning. And when I connected in what I could do for my business as a whole. I started to get all these downloads. You know, it was map out the goals that your team has and where they wanna go. It kept telling me, Chris, your goal doesn't matter. I know that sounds so crazy, right? But your goal doesn't matter. The way that business is done in the business that I run through network marketing, this part of my business is done by me helping the team that wants to run and achieve their goals, big or small, whatever that is, achieve their goals. And I had to have that gentle reminder today because my business as an entity knows what it wants and what it needs. Now, what might be stopping you from even getting clear on how to connect into this energy or this entity is that you're, you don't trust yourself, one, which means you're swimming in fear. There's only fear or love, right? You choose where you wanna dance, you choose where you wanna play. When you're in love, everything comes together. When you're in love, you're, you, your divine self, you're speaking it, you're attracting it, you are it. Those are the type of people that are coming to you to partner with you. But if you're coming from a space of fear, even if it's a seed of doubt, I want you in that moment 
to reconnect and just simply ask. One of the best things I do in my business or in my life is say, what would someone who loved themselves right now do? And when you get into that vibration, because that sentence alone is a super high vibe, and when you can connect into that and you declare like that word love, what would someone who loved themselves do right now or do today? You would hear all the answers. You would hear the people you can reach out to, the person you need to be to attract that person to you. Also, I want you guys to get really clear on what in your world that needs to be shattered or released, face those things today. Because those are the things that are gonna hold you back. People, people are asking a lot lately, you know, how can I start a coaching business? How can I, you know, earn six figures in network marketing? And they wanna do a lot of things at once. And I believe that a confused mind does nothing. So I actually had to build the first, like the very first network marketing company Ryan and I had success with, I had to build that first. That was my path of least resistance. And sometimes we get confused on the opportunity that the universe is giving us right now. And our ego tries to overcomplicate things, making us, making it harder for us, so we stay in a state of fear. So of course, every day that you wake up, you're, you're feeling overwhelmed. I don't know which business to do. I don't know who needs me. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna make more money today. And it's just this constant spiral. So instead, you can make your life and business and income a whole lot more simple if you just stop and reconnect of what's, what feels in flow for me right now? What's my path of least resistance? How can I become an energetic match for that? How can I stand and unapologetically share my truth because that's what people need and want from me? That's what's going to get you into that flow. So what in your world right now needs to be released? What needs to be shattered? There is something, not everything, but there is something that has an expiry date for you. I know what mine is. There's certain things in my life that I know have an expiry date. They're not gonna last forever and it's coming to an end right now. And if I don't accept that that's coming to an end right now, to know that something magical is gonna open up for me, why would I wanna hold on to that? It's just a, it's a bad energy. It's gonna keep me blocked from, from my goals and my dreams. So grab your journal today. What in your life right now has an expiry date? Then you know it's not going to be long lived and you can just let it go. You can start to do the release work that we talk about all the time surrender, releasing, handing it over, whatever you want to call it, but something needs to come in and, and support you with this. There's a power greater than us, you guys. We do not need to do things alone. That's how, that's how life is fun and easy. That's how it's in flow. Hi, everyone. If you're just jumping on, hi. So does, this, does anybody have any questions? Your business, your ideas, your desires have its own entity and start asking what you can do for it instead of what you can, and, and trying to get something from it, like extracting something from it. This is why I love my business so much, is I can't get to my big mission and goals as a collective and a team goddess and the team goddess bosses without a team, without them achieving their goals, right? That's why I love this so much. Hi, Jessica. I know you can relate to this. We can't get to our goals and dreams without a beautiful team. That's in flow. And that when I, as the leader that I want to be, I, I don't even like that word leader. When I am the friend to these beautiful women that I get to work with, these beautiful clients that I get to work with, when I get to understand what their deep goals and dreams are and their desires, because I truly care what lights everyone up. Like I'm looking, so Anna's on our team. Um, I love knowing what Anna's goals and dreams are. I love knowing what, what stretches her, you know, where I can support her. That's important to me. And when I have that up on my wall, instead of what my goal is, the only mine, then I know I can show up and serve there. Same thing with um, if you guys want to become coaches, you know, who, who needs your help the most? This is where I think we get a little confused when we want to step out and we want to brand ourselves, we want to become a coach. Your business is not about you. Again, it has its own purpose. It's actually been planted. This is what I believe. Call me crazy, but this is what I believe. It's been planted within you because the universe or God knew you needed to be that messenger to bring it out. So the more that we sit on it and stay from stepping fully into it, 
we're doing a very big disservice. We're not supporting the people, the thousands, the millions of people that need your help. And so many of us keep our, keep our stories hidden because we're afraid. We're afraid of what people are gonna think of us. I can remember when, when Ryan and I started in our network marketing company, um, the one prior to the one I'm in now, um, we didn't wanna tell anybody, hi Tammy, we didn't wanna tell anybody how broke we were. Like we were trying to live this like, no, we're totally cool, we got this. And at the time we weren't eating. And I remember saying, you know, and I'm sure many of you, if you followed us for a while, remember our story. I remember telling people, finally, it was like on stage, I just let it out. I said, we were literally counting quarters for bananas. And that whole, that quote went viral. And in the company we were with, we were finding that many people were actually in the same position that we were and they didn't want to talk about it. But can you, do you guys know what happened once I said that? People were stopping us in the streets and saying, you're the girl that said you were counting quarters for bananas. I tell your story to my team all the time and people were getting started with me. If I didn't share my mess as my message, we would not have gotten to where we are. We wouldn't have been able to help the people that we've helped. I wouldn't have been able to be real with myself so I could actually come in and do the work because I didn't want to look that, I didn't want to look at the fact that I was broke. I was ashamed. I didn't want to, I didn't, I thought that the more I looked at it, it was going to get bigger and bigger, which is totally not the case. We have a choice. You need to look at the things that need to be shattered. It could be a belief system. It could be your finances. It could be uh, business growth. It could be a relationship. We need to look at the things that need to be shattered so you can get the freedom out of it. If it's keeping you feeling like you're suffocating in it, drowning in, in money issues, drowning in bills, you need to bring, bring it to the light and look at it. Because from there you can rewrite everything. And that's the beautiful pattern of this. You can always choose again, always. So once, we, once I shared this, like it was like it had to burst out of me that we were actually in this uh, challenging place and more people could relate to us, so more people joined us. If you're acting as if you've got your shit together and you're the most amazing thing in the whole entire world, people are going to feel like, oh my God, she's so far ahead of me. I, I won't be able to, she can't teach me. She won't be able to understand where I am. Yeah, Asia. I know, yeah, Jessica, the BMW, not far after that. That's so true. Thank you for, thank you for being such a good friend and remembering these things. I'm just reading your guys' comments. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, Amy, we're so blessed to have you on the team. It's, I say this all the time. We would not, I would not have been able to create the magic that I know is happening right now on our team without every single one of you on it and also the people that are coming on. Um, I've welcomed gosh, six new people in the last week and a half into the goddess bosses. And I sat reflecting on this. Actually, to be honest, I felt very overwhelmed yesterday. If you want to talk about um, how to magnetize what it is you want, I had to get really real with myself. I woke up, I was very overwhelmed for the last two nights. I've actually been waking up in the middle of the night thinking of all these things I have to do. And in that moment, like I would lay awake the first and a couple nights ago for like an hour and I was almost like panicked. And I would remember to hand it all over, ask for the guidance that I needed. Last night was the same thing. And so what I had to do was I had to stop this pressure that I put on myself and remind myself that I can't, I'm, I can't, like Ryan says this all the time, I cannot be the general manager of, this, of the universe. I can't be the general manager of my team, of the clients we work with, of the launches that are happening, of all of this stuff. I have to trust, I have to trust. So I had to trust my intuition and to get over out of overwhelm. If any of you feel like you can't breathe, like you're in such turmoil and overwhelm, you need to get out into nature. And I thought like, oh God, I can't, I can't take two hours away. I got way too much to do. I have a woman on the goddess buses that is running for a huge rank. I have all these other um, clients that need support. I have a launch coming up. Lauren and I are doing the self-love method. We're in that launch right now. I have all these interviews. I was like, I can't take two hours off. And that was bull crap. 
Because you know what happened is I went, Ryan and I went for a walk. We went on an intuitive walk. If you're in our communities, you know we did a Facebook Live on it. We went on an intuitive walk and we just let our souls guide us. We planted ourselves kind of at the beginning of a little path in by the ocean in a, a trail and just let our intuition guide us. And by the time we stopped, and we stopped multiple times, we're like, nope, doesn't feel right, doesn't feel right, doesn't feel right, where do we need to go? And we ended up on this beautiful, tiny, tiny, tiny little white sand beach. For any of you in the Vancouver area, in Belcara, in Port Moody, there are, like along the water there, it's this beautiful cove and this tiny little white beach. And that's where we planted ourselves. And in that moment, I was able to release all my overwhelm and get so clear on what my first step was. If we're, if we're stuck behind a screen, if we're so overwhelmed with what needs to go on, how are we ever gonna hear what we need to do? This is the last piece I wanna share with you about energy and, and really getting into alignment to magnetize what you want. If you're in a space of force, I'm forcing, I have to get this done, I you know, have to reach out to 10 people today, I have to do this, it's not your truth, so the energy behind it is actually going to, it's not gonna work. You can go and you can reach out to the 10 people and I guarantee you're not gonna get that flow back. But if you wake up in the morning, you do your intentions and you feel, I'm gonna reach out to 10 people today. This feels so energetically aligned because my goal is like bursting through my veins and you have that surge of energy through your fingers, through the keyboard, and reaching out to those people, or that energy is surging through your veins when you're posting a status update. That's when you're gonna get the best response. But you have to energetically believe it and you have to energetically get behind it. Because a forceful, raw, like business building forceful way is just, in my opinion, doesn't work for me and it's, it's out of fear. I have to do this when it's not the case. When you flip it to I choose to and get energetically aligned into why, what your team's goals are, what your goals are, you know, why you're doing this, that's when everything's gonna flow. I do things so differently, you guys. Okay, let me go back to some questions here. Uh, Pamela, hi Chris, I know for me it is easy to get swept up in the ego and wanting to be perfect as a leader and protect my own mess. I'm learning every day to be more humble, especially after last weekend. Yes. Yeah, so Pamela and I had this beautiful conversation and she's so incredible. She's an incredible coach. She's an incredible mentor. She's an incredible leader. Um, and what I admire about her is she leads from her own life experiences. And that's what makes a great leader. People always wanna partner with you because of, of what you're doing and where they know you're going. So the more you're sharing your passion, your conviction, your stories, they're gonna hop along with you. That's why. Trust, yes. Hi everyone. Does anybody else have any questions? Have a real busy day. Hmm. Better to focus on what they need than what you need to, right? Yeah. So this is the beautiful thing. I mean, Jessica's in a, a gorgeous network marketing company as well. And what I've learned is I can have a goal and of course I have goals, but I can't get to my goal on my own. Uh, and you know, even within a relationship like Ryan and I talk about our goals all the time. Um, my goals are always my goals, but we talk openly about what his goals are and how I can support him, how I can hold that energy. But if we go down to like business and network marketing, <laughs> the only way we're going to get to the goals that we want is by helping the people get to theirs. So I have reached out to every single person on my team to ask them what support looks like to them, what their goal is. So I know I'm not coming off too pushy for some people, but I don't wanna neglect others. So I wanna know their, their love language in business. You know, what does support look like to you? And this is a great question you can ask anybody that you're working with and let them tell you. Some of them were saying, I want twice a week check-ins to hold me accountable. Others said, you know what, every couple of weeks I'm good. I, I know what I wanna do, I can find the research on my own. Some of them are just really independent. Some of them, like me, I love accountability. I love being able to reach out to an accountability partner and to say, hey, this is what I did today. But when you're helping others reach the first rank in the company, 
sets your whole business on fire. You know, I had a, a business partner before who always said we got to light the fire from down below. So helping the people achieve their goals will help you get to yours. And it's removing yourself out of the equation. So what if you, instead of having your just your goals plastered all over the wall, I don't know if you guys do this, but I put my goals up on my wall so I can see them when I'm working. What if you also put your team's goals up on the wall? And energetically, every day, you spoke it. So when you reached out to them over text, over Facebook message, and you said, you know, hey, Asia, I know you have a goal of making $5,000 a month. How can we do this today? I'm here with you. What needs to be done? What energy do we need to pour in? What, do, what needs to be dissolved? What, what fear needs to be let go of? Because I want to help you. I know this is important to you. And always find out why. Why is this important to them? And those now become my goals. Because I wouldn't be at mine without them. So when theirs become yours, you know you're in flow with your business. And everything is just going to work like a well-oiled machine. And every day holding that space. I pray over everybody. Everybody that I work with. Everybody that reaches out to me that says, you know, I want to partner with you in, in one of your coaching programs. I want to work with you in the goddess bosses. I hold energy over all of them because I know it's going to, it's all, we're, we're, we're one. You know, Kara, if you're listening, when you tagged us today in, in A Course in Miracles, something that we don't talk about often enough is how I believe that all minds are joined. It's how our business works. My fear is someone else's fear on my team right now. My vision is someone else's vision on my team right now. Or when I'm up and someone's down, that's just that's just both of me. And we can honor each other in that same that same cycle all the time. I hope that helps you. How often would you share stories on your personal profile? This is a great question, Marlene. Thanks for asking. Um, I share I share my story in many different ways. So I have my story you guys now know you know I had to go through a whole self-love journey I had to remember who I was I felt like a prisoner in my own body for a long time because I wasn't accepting myself um, I was broke I knew I needed to rewrite my money story and I bring this whole thing if it wasn't for this lack of self-love if it wasn't for me being broke if it wasn't for me struggling with um, adult acne that made me feel like I couldn't love myself and cry every single night if I didn't have these things, I would not be where I am today. That's what birthed my blog. It's what got me into coaching. It's what uh, spurred me to want to build network marketing. It's what allowed me to grow personally and spiritually. So I share my story all the time on my personal profile, but in different ways. So you guys can go back and look at my, my profile and dissect how I do it. <laughs> but I, I'm always sharing my truth and my story because I know it's going to help people. And I know you're going to get a better understanding of who I am and what I love and I, and I hope that inspires somebody um, but you're also going to know like you feel connected to me so if we were ever to meet you know downtown Vancouver for a coffee we'd have so much to talk about because you'd already know who I am you know I love coffee you know I have a wiener dog <laughs> you know I've done a lot of personal growth So Pamela says, one of the cards I drew today was one, and it was all about our uniting and duality and coming back to one. Absolutely, absolutely. If we want to get like really deep in, and woo-woo on this today, um, I know that that's where we're going, and that's what we're all here to do. We're all here to help people, people like shatter this illusion that all of this chaos exists, and it actually doesn't exist. It's what we're creating in our minds. It's how we're treating ourselves is reflecting back out into the world. So what if we started right now to treat ourselves with so much love, so much passion, allowing our true voice to speak out? Les, if you're watching, I know you're all about your true voice today, so am I. Got my spearmint on my neck ready to burst out of my, my body. And what if we started to do that all today? Imagine what would happen. The vibration of the planet would raise. Our, everyone would start to step into their gifts. Everyone would start to let their fear go. Everyone would know exactly where we were going because they'd feel so connected to their highest self. But right now we're not quite there yet. And I think all of us that watch stuff like this, all of us that apply, that are coaches, that do the work, that are healing the planet with our gifts, is what's going to change. It's what's going to change the world. I believe it. I believe more women that step into and own their divine feminine and lead that way, that's how we're going to change. 
we need more of that feminine energy. You know, the overbearing masculine has to be done one way. We have to, you know, sit behind a computer all day and forget about nature because who has time for that? It, it's not. It's not sustainable. So Amy says, I feel like the group has such power and will be nurture one one another to help huge transformations happen. Yeah. So Amy's in our goddess boss tribe. That's what she's talking about. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, I know we, we do it differently over here. We do it on conversations like this. We do it on how we can help one person get healthy at a time, how we can help ourselves get healthy at a time, how we can raise the vibrations of homes with uh, the power of mama nature and essential oils, how we can become a clear channel ourselves with stopping the madness of the chemicals and the fear and the crap we're filling our whole body and energy with. It's just, it's time to shed it all. It's time to shed it all. Get into the desert. Get into the desert. You know, anything. It doesn't need to, this is, you know, we all chose to be born in the place that we chose to be born. And if nature for you is where you are right now, or if you moved there, it was for a reason, then get out in mama nature and in that space, in that space. So Lori says, I want to be a coach and would love for you to help me get started. I have amazing support from many people who love me, but two people in my life now, Erica and Ryan, are the hope and strength I... Let me just see more here. I needed to believe in myself, and you, Chris, are my rock. Just love you. Love you too, girl. Okay, Erica and Ryan are beautiful, amazing friends of ours, and we love them to pieces, so I know why. They're such good friends and mentors for you. That's incredible. They're they're incredible. I love you. If you're watching, you guys, I love you. <laughs> awesome. Does anybody else have any other questions? I can't. What time is it? So I have an interview here soon. Thanks for spending time with me today, you guys. So I let's... Today's let's let's start back at the basics to become an energetic match for your truest desires. Check in with what has an expiry date right now, what you just can't and don't want to hold on to anymore. Is it an old story? Is it a belief pattern? Is it um, a relationship? Is it a business? Is it this crap? Hey, Eric, I was just talking about you. I was just declaring my love for you. Um, what needs, what has an expiry date? Because something here needs to go and it's actually weighing you down and it's causing your vibration to be toxic. So if you feel comfortable, comment below. Let us share love. Let us spread that love and hold that space over what in your life needs to be shattered. What has the expiry date? Get clear on this, you guys. If you're not clear on it, it's going to keep showing up. It's going to loop and loop and loop. So let's start there. Let's get clear on what your goal is, you know, for the rest of this week, for the rest of the summer. What does this look and feel like for you? When you are connected to what it feels like and why you're doing this, you can then become the energetic match. If you are looking at it saying, you know, I want to make $10,000 a month, but I don't feel it's realistic, you can do all the freaking work in the world. It's not going to get there. At the same time, you cannot jump into a $10,000 a month income if you're only making $2,000 a month right now and you're not believing you can because if you did, you couldn't hold it. You need to build the inner strength, the inner knowing, allow your truth. I just posted on this. Your, your unlearning and your remembering is your superpower. You can unlearn everything that your mind tells you. It is not yours. Someone's planted it for you. Remembering your truth is what's going to set you free. So it all starts with what you know has an expiry date and what we're ready to let go of. Then becoming an energetic match for what you want, affirmations, moving your body, getting into nature. Get into nature, you guys. Get into nature. Allow your breath to, to breathe in the same that the trees are. Just get in there and let like feel how it feels. Allow it to feel like seep into your cells. Sounds batshit crazy, but it works. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, Pamela says, something you said recently really resonated with me and shook me up that I lack intimacy with myself. Was shocked, but knew it was true. Totally. You know, fear, um, saying that you don't have the time to do things is all just an intimacy issue. And when you can see that you're not necessarily having that clear intimacy with yourself. This is where I was two days ago. Like the, I'm so transparent with you guys. What I teach is what I'm, what I'm applying to myself. 
I had no connection to myself for the last two days because I was in massive overwhelm. I didn't want to journal. I didn't want to, I didn't want to meditate. I didn't even want to know what my divine guidance was because I couldn't hold the space for it anymore. I was so full and I felt so disconnected. And Ryan told me the other day that uh, when you're, when you feel disconnected, you literally are. That when you're in overwhelm or fear, your body actually starts to get toxic. And when your body's toxic, your soul wants to leave. So it's actually like an imaginary cord that's holding your soul out at a, like an arm's length because your body is so toxic. And when you come back into love, when you come back into your truth, into the business that flows for you, the message that's trying to burst through you, um, the community you want to create, all of this, the relationship, you know, letting your guard down in your relationships, being the divine goddess that you are and bringing your feminine in. Once you do that, you'll notice that your soul starts to come in and you feel connected. You want to feel connected and that's that intimacy piece with yourself, with yourself. So I know I went through this whole thing yesterday. I had to reconnect to my intimacy. <laughs> I had to, and as soon as I did it, I mean, I get messages. I'm ready to join your business. You know, what, what's, what are you guys launching? I'm ready to join the self love method. It's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Thank you as always for jumping on. I appreciate you all. Go rock your life today. Become an energetic match. Let everything that needs to be shattered go with love. Sending you love, guys.